Okay, YouTube, welcome back to Dwarf Fortress 2014 with the Flying Fent. This is Relic Hammers, and I believe we're on episode number six, if I'm not mistaken. Um, one of the things that concerns me... Now, uh, actually, before I even get into that, let's take a second here. And I want to address a comment uh, that was made. And I addressed the bulk of the comment, and it didn't occur to me until later that I, I didn't address this one point that was made. Um... Yeah, or maybe I did actually, I just don't remember, but I feel like I didn't, so I'm just going to cover it anyway in case, because it's it's rude of me. If you're going to ask me a question, I should answer it, so I didn't answer it in the comment, I'll answer it now. Um, and the question was about why do you bother hauling stones when you only have so few people? And as you can see, uh, and they had said, why don't you just hide them? So as you can see, all these blue dots here, these are all hidden stones. Uh, the only place I hauled stones was storage areas, and that's because once you start storing things, the stones get hidden underneath and then I can't find them to get rid of them. So that's the only reason. I haul them out of storage areas. But I, as in general, I, I don't care. I'll just leave stones lying out on the floor. It's fine with me. Um, so I did that. Um, but what concerns me right now as I look at this is that I have no hospital. At all. Not even a little bit of a hospital. And I really should have a hospital. Um, I want it to be fairly close to the service, and I want it to not have a lot of um, interference from like people running around. So I think I'm going to put it just one level up, right here. That keeps it out of the bright yellow, which will hurt my eyes. So we're going to put a hospital, I think, on this level. So let's go ahead and do that. Um, does it really matter? Kind of. We'll just do something like... Something like this. I mean, I don't think it's big enough for a full-on hospital. But maybe it is. I don't know. Uh, okay, and a bunch of open space. That's only six rooms. That's not a lot of rooms. Uh, let's actually make it I still had undo on. Let's well, make it a good size hospital, shall we? So I get the feeling we're going to need a hospital sooner rather than later. And, and something that is very easy to forget because I've been moving slowly trying to channel this out, which, you know, in hindsight was definitely a mistake. Um, and if you recall, I think I mentioned this when I first started this series, because the previous fort kind of just crashed, I had no saves for it, and I wasn't prepared for that. This fort was very much kind of made in haste. It was like, oh, I gotta do something, or I'm gonna have no videos for another week, and that's just not acceptable. So there was no planning that went into this fort, and there really should have been. I tried a plan, I just didn't get around to it this time. So that's why this one was kind of garbagey uh, to start. It was a very inefficient start. I don't know why I did that. I want to go down this way. And then it is the same size, you see? See how that works? It's almost like I'm a genius. Except for that being smart thing. That's not... There we go. So there's some rooms for my hospital. Um, I don't know why I did that. I wouldn't mind having more rooms, though. That's not a lot of rooms. That is not a good spot for a room, obviously. Uh. How many more rooms do I want? Is that going to be enough rooms for now? This will be like a, the storage area. I feel like the main doctor needs an office, too. Although, you know, he, this could be his office, right? And it will also be the storage area. That makes sense. You know, you should have a doctor protecting the important medicines. We could also do, like, a little bit of a storage area here, in fact. Oh, I like that better. I like that idea better. So the doctor gets a nice big office. Doctor's office, nice little storage area. Um, potentially we could turn this into a well later, which isn't a bad idea, but it makes me think this should be one higher then. 
That bright yellow would hurt my eyes, though. Oh, it's way too bright. Let us put a well above. It's not far to go. Yeah, I like that. All right. So we'll get started on a hospital. Um, we do have some beds that can go into it. I'm gonna just gonna grab this first row. These are gonna be some beds for the hospital. The hospital needs a few other things as well. So let's go ahead and get workflow up and running. Let's add some blocks. 200 to 300, not 200 to 30, that doesn't make any sense. Uh, 200 to 250 is probably better actually. And um, beds. Uh, 5 to 10 is actually probably fine. And the door, I didn't do the door, let's do the door. 5 to 10 doors is probably fine. Um, tables. Gonna want some tables. 5 to 10 of those is probably fine. Chairs. 5 to 10 of those again, probably fine. Um, bins. Yep, gonna want bins. Um, and I think this only counts empty bins, so you know what, 5 to 10 is, is probably perfect. And then, um, barrels. And again, 5 to 10, probably perfect. Now that should automatically, those jobs should automatically be added down there. Uh, as our manager has time, but that makes me think, I don't think I have a chair, for, uh, an office for my manager, do I? I do not. So let's go ahead then. Uh, actually, I guess with workflow, I don't really need a manager, eh? Well, let's get one anyway, because it just seems cheaty not to have one. Uh, miners, I don't think, have anything to do. Uh, I guess they have the hospital here to do. So that's something. Let them get working on that. I'm pretty sure I have thread and gypsum plaster, so that'll all help. Our soldiers are off trying to kill Grey Langers with training weapons, which... I find it's very weird that you can cut down trees with training axes, but there you go. I mean, have you ever heard a wooden axe that was capable of cutting wood? It doesn't make any sense to me, but um, maybe it's possible, I don't know. I'm, I don't know anything about lumberjacking, despite being a Canadian. Other than the fact that they definitely do not use wooden axes to lumberjack. That is definitely not how lumberjacks do it. There we go. Uh, but yeah, the, the biggest problem here is that I hadn't realized how much time had gone by and uh, we definitely should have had a hospital quite a while ago. Do we have any chests? We do not. So we can't get any other things set up there. We do have beds though. And um, no one's injured yet, so let's just toss, say, maybe two beds up here for now in the hospital. That'll be fine. Um, now we're waiting. We need more blocks to do the roof and the floor of what will be our sleeping area. Um, and now that my miners are free, let's go ahead and get some sleeping areas going. Let me go ahead and dig all of that out, please, miners. We did have all the doors we needed, so let's go ahead and plunk some doors down. I see all the doors we needed. We have nowhere near as many doors as we need, but we have enough doors to kind of um, get our workflow plug in and not work. So we might as well put some doors up. There we go. The beds are in the hospital. Could really use those chests, my man. Or at least a chest. Oh, I always pushed the wrong button. Or at least a chest. Uh, and part of the problem could be I'm not building any chests. H, there we go. 5 to 10 would be fine. But let's prioritize that so I can get at least one chest in the hospital there and be ready. Uh, because two years in, we're probably going to start seeing things now. I think we're two years in, aren't we? I don't remember what year we started. Maybe we're only one year in and I'm panicking for no reason, but... Oh, right, they're sparring. Whew! Don't worry for a second there, I don't know why. Okay. 
Okay. The sounds of a riot. Oh, it's the music. Wonder why my people are freaking out, but it turns out they're not freaking out at all. All right. Uh, like I said, I do want to get a manager here, so a table and a chair. We can set that up temporarily as the manager's office. Good. Nice small office is all we need. Is it just the leader or do I have a manager? No, I have a manager right there. Obviously not assigned though. So, manager. Um, and what about a bookkeeper? So I need another table chair to have our bookkeeper going. Oh, and he made the chest. Outstanding. So let's reprioritize table and chair. Um, now that bin might not... Oh, that chest has made it. Fantastic. We can, like I said, we can get our first one chest going at least for our hospital. And at least now we have somewhere for sick people to go. We still don't have any buckets, do we? There we go. Good. Oh, and there we go. Look at this. We're moving thread and cloth and gypsum and stuff into that chest. So it's going to be... Oh, okay, good. So we have a hospital. So now if someone gets injured, we have somewhere to care for them. Step one. Step two, I should probably designate a fresh, a clean water source. Um, let's do that here. You are a water source. Perfect. Nine, eight idlers still, eh? All these haulers with nothing to do. Um. Can we give a hauler something to do? I was hoping we'd have somebody with animal training skill already, but we don't. Yeah, the farmer could be an animal trainer. Why not? We get working on some of these dogs, potentially. As people are standing around not doing anything. Um, war training, yes. And that's it for dogs. Alright, well, whatever. That's fine. It's something. Okay. So now we're just waiting for our miners to finish. Oh, snap. A were rhinoceros. Well, this could be the end of us right now, then. Um, what do you think the chances are if we leave him alone, he'll just leave? I feel like that's very unlikely. I also feel like our wooden training axes are not going to have much of an effect on him. Crap. Hmm. Well then. Um. We can't really hide anywhere. Should we just... I think our only shot is to try and take him out, but I don't think we can do it. I really don't. Let's... this other Axe Lord, let's remove him. Make him a militia captain. Mono monster, whatever his name is there. Create a squad. No uniform. Does green mean they're in the other one or does green mean they're not taken? Sirlith. Well, green means they're in the other one. Okay. At least I'm pretty sure that's what it means.
Yes. So I got a crafter, a miner, potentially another miner, I can't tell. Well, is it yellow? No, it's blue. So two miners and a crafter are not in our military. Um, Oh, this is going to go horribly wrong. Everyone is going to die. I can see it already. Everyone is going to die. Well, not everyone. The three that are unassigned aren't going to die. Uh, but maybe... Is there any reason saving three people? Who's this last guy? A, a Dilgim. Let's make a Dilgim a militia captain. Because why not? That's not how his name's spelt. It was a miner, right? There he is. And create another squad, no uniform. There we go. A, B, and C. Kill this guy. Oh, everyone's gonna die. Everyone is just gonna die. It's a why not rhinoceros? Like how? We have no chance of killing a rhinoceros. It's not. It's not even a little possible. Not even a little bit. On the plus side, it's only Saturday, so I have lots of time to plan. So the next fort, we will actually be semi-organized. But here we go. Let's just. Everyone is gonna die. Look at the blood. Just look at the blood and the bodies is that it is is he dead oh no he's his were rhinocerosing days are over and everybody's not dead but pretty much everybody's dead is there anybody We got like what four people left alive? <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, we have a fair number of people still going. We got nowhere to bury people though, is gonna be part of this problem, but we do have I guess good thing we set up a hospital. We do have more beds. We might as well put all the beds in. As if for beds. Um, we're also going to need like a burial chamber. That sounds like a good use of this area. Why not? Actually, this here can have burial rooms in it. how many tombs am I going to need to make, but I'm not, don't know how big a concern that's going to be. This is not going to work over here. So if you want to visit your loved ones, you have to go, th your dead loved ones, you have to go through the hospital. Why not? Do I have any miners left alive that can mine this? Probably not, huh? So who who do we have left? There's a short list. Oh, we have two miners. They're probably both wounded though, aren't they? He's horrified, vengeance. Oh man. We really got our butts kicked there. 
In theory, we have two miners left alive. One of our two carpenters. Our crafter. Our farmer. Our brewer and our cook. Did our leader survive? Our leader and our manager both survived. Um, what about soldiers? Who, who survived soldier-wise? Both of our axe lords survived. That's something. So who did, who did we lose with skills? Two miners, the backup carpenter, the uh, one of the haulers, a farmer, the bone carver, and the wood crafter. I feel like the wood crafter we need to replace, but we can replace him with just the generic crafter, so that's that done. And uh, we're also not doing any bone carving, so we could also replace the bone carver with that. So basically we're down a farmer. And that's not the worst thing in the world. Did any dog survive? Is that the right list for dog? No, this. Uh, some dogs did survive of both genders. So it's not the worst thing in the world, but it is pretty bad. I'm gonna put a mason's workshop right in the middle of the road here real quick because I gotta start making some tombstones, some some casket things, you know what I mean. Um, do I have a doctor? Because while all these people are healing, that's all great and all, but the crafter is technically the I don't like that. Let's take... Um, the leader and the manager will be doctors. Hopefully one of them is not wounded. The leader is wounded. Okay. How wounded? Um, he's unconscious. He has a head and a skull wound. Well, that's really not good. What about our manager? He has a wounded arm. That's eh, not great for doctoring. Who's not wounded? Who do we have down here? Look at this guy is in just fine shape. Our axe lord. Oh crap. Don't tell me about my two axe lords would have been strong enough to take that guy out. Uh, these guys were alive for a little bit and then it looks like they bled to death. Or they fell down from above through the hole. That's also a possibility. Um. So you're not wounded. Who else isn't wounded? Is that it? What about... Is this guy wounded? He is. Is this guy wounded? He is. So we have one guy that's not wounded. And our carpenter's not wounded. Well, that's something. Congratulations, carpenter. Yeah, this is stupid. Because the workflow plugin is going to unsuspend all these jobs. Um, assuming we have a bucket, which we do, good. Our carpenter is no longer on carpentering duty. Um, he's now on doctoring duty. And in fact, let me turn off. Haul oh, you're not a hauler. Good. So he should, in theory, go doctor now. We should also make him, however, the. Chief Medical Dwarf. Carpenter. Because, why not? It's just like the Civil War all over again. Alright, you gonna come down here and look at people? Oh, there's someone else who's alive. And unwounded. The Brewer. Fantastic. We need an empty bucket. Oh, there is. Someone is giving people water. There is at least an empty bucket out there. Okay, let's, um... Health. We have a bunch of diagnosing needed. And a few people have been diagnosed. Well, that's something. Isn't it? It's amazing. I 
I get the feeling I'm probably going to run into bandages, though. Unfortunately. I can't do it. I just can't. What can't you do? Oh, you need crutches. And I probably need a bunch of stuff. Oh, taking the carpenter off work was a bad idea. Um, crutch. Splint. All right, carpenter, you're going back on carpentry. You're, you're needed there more. Uh, carpenter on carpentry. I appreciate you did some doctoring. Now, who is this other guy that was running around that was uninjured? Are you uninjured? You don't look uninjured. You, no, you are... De oh, you have a broken spine. Well, shoot. This guy was the guy that I thought looked uninjured, right? The brewer. Brewer, you are now the doctor. Why not? How... Poorly could you do with it? And you're no worse than the other guy, I'm sure. Oh, and I guess that means that the chief medical should now be the brewer as well. Uh, replace. Brewer. There he is. Okay. Now he is making all the things that we need. Buckets, splints, crutches are important things. I know you need a crutch. It's on the way. Hopefully some of our people get up and about soon. I think there's one or two that have already kind of moved on. There we go. There's another who's up and about. Hopefully he's up and about soon. Oh, there's two in that same bed. Okay. It's not ideal, but... Doing some bandaging or something. Probably some suturing, actually. Some of these folk are going to need a rest. Well, we got rid of uh, all of our surplus idlers. We're down to one. One idler's not terrible. Oh, we probably should fix this, too, so we don't just have... Yeah, I wonder... Do you think the Axe Lords would have been enough? Um, disband. Disband. Shoot. Now I'm starting to think the axe... But it's a rhinoceros, right? How? There's no way they could have done that. I don't know. There's no way. Um... So there we go. So we're kind of back to where we were, maybe? Possibly? Perhaps? How is health coming along? We still have a few people that need to be diagnosed. We still have many people that need to be diagnosed. We are not long for this world, my friend. We have no miners currently, they're all wounded. I'm going to need to get these corpses moved. I don't want them sitting inside. So we'll just shove them all outside for now. And then once we have miners up and about, we will uh, hopefully get somewhere to put them. There's empty beds here too, guys. Why don't you take the sick people and stick them in these beds? Oh, this is not this is not good. This is not a great start. I think our miner might just be sleeping. So hopefully, once he's done sleeping, he goes back to mining. still sleeping. I mean, he looks fine? Maybe? 
possibly? I think there's three people in that same bed. Let's see if we can catch him when it flips back to him. That's not the one. This is the one. He looks fine, doesn't he? Oh, is it an elbow? Okay. Hopefully he's patched up soon though and can get back to work. Whoop! Oh, who's on the move? It's him! Are you going to sleep or something? I don't know what you're doing. Miner, where'd you go? Miner? We, we need you doing mining. In a very desperate way. Uh-oh. The now there's two where rhinoceros eye. Rhinoceri. We have been bitten and it has spread, as one would expect. So <laughs> the people that are left, unfortunately. are uh, about to all die because the people that left need to come fight these were rhinoceroses you won't fight them we have a new leader oh one of the were rhinoceroses was down here I don't, I don't see where this one got to Um, where are you guys? There's one here. Almost. Who's our... We have three people, three wounded people left. And no one to look after them. So there you go, folks. Relic Hammers has fallen. <laughs> oh, hey, there's somebody still alive. Oh, right, because he's turned out of where Rhinoceros form now. So, um, we tried some new things. I like this idea of channeling down. I really do. Um, but I definitely need to organize before I do it. I also think the next fort we will do more of this outdoor stuff, or at least plan to do it. Because um, I like it, again, in theory. I think the concept of it is really cool. Um, and we'll have to work on that. But for now, uh, Relic Hammers has fallen. Like, yeah, some of these people are alive still, right? But just until they turn into Weirinoceri again. What's the plural? Rhinoceroses, I think, is the proper plural there. Um, but yeah, I'm not going to continue with this. I am going to go ahead and actually generate a whole new world and start a new world. I'd like to find something a little bit more deadly than where we have been going, um, but with uh, with proper planning, right? And Oh, someone has changed again. No, maybe not? Why is he hitting a fish cleaner? Oh, they're training. The fish cleaner is now part of the squad, right? So he is sparring. Oh, no, look at this. There's a fish cleaner indeed. There is a... a, 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 a where, where is the battle occurring? Oh. Sure. Um, but yeah, I will generate a whole new world and we'll pick something a little bit more dangerous and we will go in organized with a plan as opposed to, hey, let's channel a giant effing hole and spend all of our time doing that and not getting set up. Uh, I'm also going to make sure I embark with uh, a couple of real axes because that's going to make all the difference in the world. And um, we will try some other parties. I might actually bring a doctor specifically. That's not something I usually do. I normally bring like a leader, but I don't think the leader really contributes much, whereas I feel like a doctor would. At least a, a, a good diagnostician would help. We need doctor house is what we need. Um, but yeah, we, we will come back to a whole new world. Now, this episode was a little bit long, but once it 
became pretty obvious the fort was falling. What was the point? So yeah, we'll come back with a whole new world and we'll try it again. There's actually a new version out as well. So I will download the latest uh, starter pack and we will go from there. Uh, but I hope you enjoyed this video. It was amusing. It was definitely amusing. It was a good time when you get that hospital going too. But um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this and uh, we'll see you in the next one.